Um, almost three years since the pilot for murder drones had released. Oh god, time flies faster than the speed of light. This is not a full review of the show or anything, it's just me rambling about random things about the show. The 2k special videos under work. This is just a tiny idea I wanted to make. Why is Merged Drones unique? Why do people like the show when it's just too flawed honestly? Sometimes it can be even annoying. But why do people still like it? I think it has to do with a lot of stuff honestly. Mostly the enjoyability and the rewatchability it has. A lot of series focus on the story, like a lot. While that is kinda true for Merged Drones, it seems that the show's major focus is being as impressive, enjoyable, and cool as possible while having a decent story that ties everything together. If you look at an episode like 8 for example, you can have two entirely different opinions depending on what you focus on. If you focus on the story, the episode is one of the weakest written episodes honestly, mostly because of the ending. But if you focus on the overall packaging, the episode is just too cool honestly. And that almost included most episodes. Most of them are pretty enjoyable to watch, but they are not the best story wise probably there are only two exceptions that are the pilot and the probing having near perfect writing but in general being flawless is not the main focus of the show the show is basically just a message a love letter to the internet from the people who have been around it for more than a decade that is just like look we made this cool thing and it's independently funded and on youtube because if merge drones was made by a mainstream company i don't think it would have been received as positively as it is now being indie since the show is tailor made for the internet it knows how to approach it whether it is the humor quirkiness the weird and seemingly cringe stuff the hidden details the perfectly cut screams the reference to other shows everything it has just stuff that the internet mostly love i want to make this video longer honestly let's talk a bit more in detail <laughs> so let's take for example the hidden details the infamous issue of merger drones which is hiding plot lines in the background yeah sure this is a terrible way of introducing the lore and plot not everyone is willing to rewatch the show a huge amount of times yeah i'm not joking when I say that I literally watch the show like almost over 20 times and I still discover something new with every rewatch which can be frustrating to some people honestly but I think that's what makes Merger Drones what it is again it is made for the internet a place where people are just too curious trying to find every detail imaginable so they would have a lot of fun dissecting this show yeah that does make the experience slightly worse for the casual viewer who isn't willing to watch a lot of theory videos or rewatch a lot like me and I believe that's a big reason and why murder drones is probably less popular than digital circus digital circus appeals to the casual viewer much more while murder drones requires some dedication and focus to understand what's even going on in the first place let alone understanding the deep lore but unlike the amazing digital circus murder drones really encourages rewatching and observing the locations instead of just staring at dry dolls talking to each other and acting inside events and blowing each other up and honestly it kind of feels rewarding something else i want to talk about is the comedy in the show yeah murder drones comedy is weird for the most part it consists of having tension and all of a sudden something supposed to be funny happens or there is an awkward pause and something surprising happens or characters sharing a single brain cell or background jokes which doesn't suit all people at all and many people actually hate it but this is basically internet comedy have you ever seen those weird videos where there's a seemingly normal video then at the end there's something very random and unexpected now look at this scene for example yeah, you can easily see the similarity. That's why Murder Drones comedy is probably like that. It's just full of internet comedy, I think. But they mostly are a hit or miss. And also, not all people like that type of comedy, honestly. And that's why they might hate Murder Drones comedy. And honestly, the execution could have been better, yeah. And the uh, last thing I want to talk about is the episode structure. Murder Drones has an iconic structure for episodes. For most episodes, they have a small introduction for the setting and the main threat of that episode. Then have some action or horror scenes to make the viewers more engaged until it reaches the main fight scene. Then after that fight scene, there is an outro that both concludes the episode and set up anticipation for the next one. This is the basic episode structure for the most part. Episode 5 did not follow the structure. It is just a build up after build up after build up while trying to be scary and funny and there is no actual fight scene because the quote unquote potential fight scene was interrupted by Fumble being the best character in media. And on top of all of that, we have a current time plot other than the already confusing memories plot which may makes this whole episode confusing and probably have no specific goal to keep the viewer engaged and that's why it is deemed by many people as the worst yes, episode in murder drones and media in general attempting to break free will not have pleasant consequences